was so vain. You probably think this song is about you. You're so vain. I bet you think this song is about you. Don't you? Don't you? Hello and welcome to the Truth Booth. You never know quite what's going to happen here, do you? We are on video number two of a five video series where we are going to discuss something that we want to change. And I know this may sound corny, but I'm going to call this two different things. I'm going to call this I see you, as in the letters I see and you, intensive care unit because that's where I want us to place ourselves for the next few days. But I also want to call it I see you because hopefully the outcome of this is going to be that we've trained ourselves to look beyond what we see on the outside of other people and to really take the time to look at what's on the inside and that those are the words of life that come out of us to each other as we comment on the inside and maybe don't kind of help the problem along of us being also self-conscious by commenting on the outside all the time. Well, I want to start today by saying that as I have taken the time to talk to a lot of women and girls in the last months, that there was a kind of recurring theme. And I kind of looked this up and did a little research and saw that, oh, wow, yeah, a lot of people already know this, but obviously I didn't think about this that much. And that is that females actually are more intimidated by other females than they are by males a lot of times, and that really a lot of their problems of being, feeling insufficient come from comparing themselves constantly with other females. Now, I do see that that's true. I've had a lot of women tell me that it's other females they're thinking of when they're getting dressed because um, they feel a little bit of a competition. And also hearing over and over again that because females are complimenting them, you know, doing the nice thing and complimenting all the time, it kind of builds up this bar in our minds that we have to always look good because now that's the expectation. I just want to ask you a couple questions. First of all, what does it make you feel like or what are you thinking when somebody says to you, you are so cute? I, I think I like it, but at the same time it makes me um, wonder if I have to put something else in my face or in the way that I'm dressing to keep look cute. So it's sometimes there are days that they are saying, people say, oh yeah, you look cute. So I, immediately I start wondering, why, why are they saying that? Are they saying that because I put something, uh, more makeup or I put my hair in a certain way or I dress like this. So at the end, it makes me feel self-conscious about my appearance. Yeah. That's what I want us to really work on stopping in our little part of the world by what we do and say and what comes out of our mouth so that we can kind of help this along in a better positive way. So number one today is that before we're gonna help anybody else, we kind of have to be honest about ourselves. That's why I started with that song, You're So Vain, because really I want us to come to a place where we can recognize our own vanity, that we probably do think about ourselves a lot more than we should, and let it be our goal, and this has been my goal, that I think about myself in those exterior ways less and less, and that I'm concentrating more on what's going on on the inside of me. So in order to do this, we just have to be honest with ourselves, whether we look in the mirror to be honest with ourselves or however you want to do this, make a journal entry for yourself or whatever. Your assignment today is just to look at yourself and to let all those voices that have been rumbling around in your head probably since you were in grade school, people's voices that came to you, maybe, maybe some of them was just childish ridiculousness, maybe some of it was people who really, who should, should have been speaking words of life to you and really spoke words that broke your spirit and broke your soul, but you know those words that just kind of rumble around in our head. I, I mean, I had some deep wounds when I was a child, but I'm just going to share with you just a couple of little surfacey ones because I know we've all experienced this. But I remember clear back to second grade and having our first communion picture taken where our class was all lined up in our little first communion outfits and that was posted somewhere in the hallway at the school or something like that and I remember very clearly someone in my class coming up and running their finger down my little stick legs and saying like wow chicken legs and I heard that and that branded me that branded me as having chicken legs for the rest of my life 
And so I want to confess that I was in my 50s and found myself still hiding my legs in longer skirts and making sure I wore pants all the time or whatever because I was so self-conscious of my silly little chicken legs. Okay, now that's ridiculous, but I know that we all have things like that ram rumbling around in our head. So let's just admit it, okay? And let's get over things like chicken legs, big deal. So what? I have chicken legs and just get over it. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing I'm going to say to you is something I never want to say because I'm just so sure that afterwards that's all anybody is ever going to see every time they look at me. But I want to get over that vanity. And that's my nose. And that's something that happened in grade school too. I got called mushroom nose and I got called pig snout nose and all these other things and told that, oh man, if only it was just your eyes and a little nose, but here's, here's this big nose that just kind of takes over your face and how ridiculous. Another thing that I have let, my vanity has let those words dictate a self-consciousness that I've had clear into adulthood about my nose. My nose was broken when I was a child and nobody knew it. And, um, and I didn't even know it until I was much older, but I do realize that my face is kind of growing in the brokenness, uh, you know, of that nose. Okay, so what? I have a crooked, Italian, healthy, big nose. I need to get over it. I don't want to be so vain. You probably think the song is about you. I don't want to be that. And I wish I would have let go of those things much, much younger. So I'm encouraging you to. So today, it's that we're going to take those stupid things that have been rolling around in our head, whatever they are, about our outward appearance, wherever they came from, however painful it is where they came from. And that we can look in the mirror and say, you are a child of God and that's what is important. You don't need to look in the mirror and say, and I know people are going to disagree with me, but you don't need to look in the mirror and say, you are beautiful. You don't need to do that. You can look in the mirror and say, you, with no makeup, before you brush your teeth and your hair is all haywire, you are a child of God and he delights in you. What else matters. What else matters? So today, can we get over ourselves? One little thing I'm going to ask you to do too. When it comes to social media, I think we all know that we kind of perpetuate this problem between each other by making sure that we're taking the pictures that are going to be the perfect ones for that perfect Insta post. Okay? Can we let go of that just in our little corner of the world? Can we do something that's just really radical and just post the first take of every picture that's taken or the, that we take of ourselves? Can we just post the first take? Now, I want to tell you as an old lady, my first takes usually look something like this or like this. Well, maybe you want to take a picture that actually has your face in the post, okay? <laughs> But I was challenged through um, a video series that I did that to give me the courage and the boldness to actually do the truth booth. I was challenged in that video series to post the first take of the videos that I make. And there was a very convincing argument. It's going to be authentic. It's going to be who you are. Um, it's not going to be polished and perfect, but that's what people want to see. They don't want to see all the time the polished and the perfect because it puts too much pressure on them. Isn't that the truth? So we're going to look in the mirror. We're going to address those stupid little things that have been going on in our head probably since grade school. And we are going to look in the mirror and say, who cares? The outer package that I'm wrapped in, I am not a movie star and I am not trying to be a movie star. So I'm going to present myself as a real person and maybe decide on some steps you can take toward doing that, toward getting over our vanities. One of the steps that I took this year was finally letting go of coloring my hair and letting it go natural. That may seem like a stupid, silly thing to you, but it's something I needed to do to myself to quit singing the You're So Vain song in my head, okay? So let's do that. Get over ourselves. Look in that mirror and say, man, you are a prized possession because you are a child of God, chosen by God, created in his image. All the good things in you came from him because the Bible tells us you were created in his image 
image. How wonderful and glorious is that I can't even brag about the inner things in me as being uniquely because I'm such a wonderful person. No, I celebrate those good things because I'm an image bearer for real of God who, because I was made in his image and so there's parts of his character in me and in you and that is amazing and so much more powerful than this outer package that we happen to be wrapped in. So those are the things, those are the assignments for today. You do those two things, assess in the mirror, let it be okay, understand that you're a child of God. Two, as far as the people around us are concerned, let's, let's post that first take. Let's be sure that we can answer the door no matter what we look like because this is not what's important. This is what's important. Okay? See you next time.